this book is The Runaway Beard. Now, when I bought this book, it came with a beard that you could actually wear while you read the story, but we thought that it would be more fun to have another kind of beard join us for this story. So, here comes our special guest. He is the bearded dragon, and he has a really big beard, and sometimes when he gets a, a little, I don't know, I don't know if it's angry or excited, his beard, his beard grows and you can see it underneath him. And if you hear a little bit of a noise in the background, ooh, it's because we have a hamster running on the wheel over here. Oh, he just peeked out to say hello. So please excuse that noise in the background. The runaway beard. Oh, and our, and our beard over here, our bearded dragon, his name is Bernard. So Bernard's gonna read with us today. All right, here we go. The runaway beard. Dad and the beard had been together for years. Then one day, Dad decided to shave. The children gathered around to watch, but just then, the beard, all covered with shaving cream, began to jiggle and move. And before Dad could use the razor, uh-oh, let's see what Bernard's up to. Before he could use the razor, the beard escaped. Oh my goodness, look, it jumped off his face and ran away. He didn't want to be shaved. And with a mighty leap, he landed on the nearest chin. Oh no, he landed on the baby and the mommy looks very frightened. Is our beard running away? Let's see. Mom screamed and swept the beard out of the house. But the beard was unruffled. It waited outside until nightfall, and then it signaled the boy through the bedroom window. Look, he just hung out on the tree all night, and now he has a plan. And by the next morning, the boy and the beard were like two best friends. They even snuck off to school together. Look at him sneaking out of the door wearing the beard. I wonder what his teacher will think when he shows up with a beard. and really gave the kids on the bus something to laugh about. Oh, I bet. Because the day before he didn't have a beard and now he's on the bus with a full grown beard. What do you think of that, Bernard? The grown ups, however, uh oh, our beard's escaping. Can you grab him for me? Oops. Okay. The grown ups, however, were not amused. He's ill, said the nurse. He's showing off, said the teacher. Get rid of that beard, said the principal. Well, we tried, said the boy. Aw, he's walking home holding the beard's hand. Let's see. All right, our beard is back. <laughs> the beard decided to lay low, but it could never be comfortable for too long. Oh, look at all these hiding spots. Oh my goodness. Oh, turned into a shoe and an octopus. Oh, those are funny. I like the Mona Lisa best. That one's really clever. Oh, and he hid on the toilet seat as his toilet seat cover. That's pretty funny. As a prickly pear. Yuck! The mom tried to eat the pear. Yuck! Splat! She threw it. The children, meanwhile, searched everywhere for the beard. Finally, they found it huddled in the basement. Don't worry, they said, we'll think of something. Oop, he's listening very closely. He likes this story. Then one day, aunt and uncle arrived for a visit and the children knew just what to do. The minute aunt and uncle left, they swung into action. Oh, look at them over here. They used the beard to sneak out of the window. That's pretty funny. Oh, our beard's escaping again. Will you grab him? <laughs> okay. They, they followed Aunt and Uncle home and waited until the lights went out. Then the beard hopped onto the windowsill and waved goodbye. And the next morning... Uncle woke up with a full head of hair. It's back, 
back. My hair's back. Look how happy he is to have hair. From that day on, Uncle and Beard went everywhere together. Aw, so the beard turned into somebody's hair. Look, he's swimming with it. He's brushing it. He's driving the car, letting his hair blow in the wind. Uh-oh, our bearded dragon's escaping. Wait, the book's almost over. And then Dad's thinking. Meanwhile, he's thinking about his beard. All right. Bernard, I hope you like that book. He looks like he's going to escape just like the beard did. So we're going to put him away before he runs too fast. I hope you guys like this. Can you see his beard underneath his chin? It's right there. Let's see. Maybe he'll puff it out for us. But that's why that's how they got their name from that beard-like thing underneath their chin. All right. We're going to go put Bernard back where he belongs in his little home. Hope you guys enjoyed the book. Bye-bye. Say bye, Bernard.